It's Jazz and Chris here, and today we're talking about our July update on our move to Costa Rica. It's Jazz and Chris with Blogging Money Life, and on our channel, we help bloggers just like you grow your audience and your income so that you can live your life on your own terms. Today, we're talking about our update on our move to Costa Rica. And you may notice our background's a little bit different than it typically is. That's because we're coming to you from Austin. We're actually staying with family right now um, to help us on our journey to Costa Rica. We are so close on our move to our new home, but let's talk about everything we've accomplished because July has been a very busy month for us. Chris, do you want to get us started? Sure. The first piece of news that I want to share is that we are now official applicants for residency in Costa Rica. So if you tuned in last month, you know that we went to San Jose, Costa Rica uh, to finalize some paperwork with our residency lawyer, Andres. The beginning of this month, he turned in our application, which gives us that official applicant status. and. Um, now when we move down to Costa Rica, we will not be required to do any border runs to maintain our, our status there. We will, on the other hand, have to do border runs in order to keep our United States driver's license legal. But as soon as we become official residents, or um, temporary residents, as soon as we become temporary residents, we can then apply for Costa Rica driver's license and then no more border runs at all for us. Yep. And we should become uh, temporary residents within two to three months. So we shouldn't be waiting that long. Yeah, two to three months from the time our application was filed. So even though we're here in the States, that clock is still ticking, which makes it nice for us. Right, right. We may be residents um, as soon as a month, actually, yep. being there. So that was a really, really cool update. Yep. Another really exciting thing is we finally bought our plane tickets to leave. Yeah. So I know that was something that we were putting off for a while until we knew exactly all the other moving parts, like when we were going to sell our house, our closing date, and then also figuring out when our shipping container was going to come. So our official date that we're leaving is August 5th. Mm -hmm. Jazz mentioned uh, our shipping container. So that was delivered July 13th. They, uh, they showed up to our house with a 20-foot shipping container and um, gave us two hours to pack it up, load it, and before they took off. So uh, we prepared the day before. Oh, actually, we, we prepared over the course of a couple weeks just yeah. packing everything properly. Um, we also did, made a video on how to pack for an international move. Check it out there. And um, yeah. So we, we got that sucker packed up, loaded, locked, and um, they started heading to Port Houston with it. Mm -hmm. uh, the process for uh, sea freight shipping can take two to three months um, from the time we pack it to the time they're unloading it at our place in Costa Rica. Right. Another exciting update is I finally made an appointment for the cats to get a health pass to come to Costa Rica. Now, it's a bit of a cumbersome process trying to figure out how to get your pets into Costa Rica. I know last month we talked about uh, our decision to make two separate trips. Mm -hmm. So for this first trip where Chris and I are flying down August 5th, it's just gonna be the two of us and we're gonna come back in a few weeks to pick up our cats. And the reason is because uh, we had to get a health pass appointment uh, which is pretty much when you meet with a vet that can sign off and say, okay, your cats are healthy and they are safe to go to another country. Uh, we have that appointment booked and uh, we now have our plans on going to pick them up and uh, take them to Costa Rica with us. In the meantime, while we are in Costa Rica, they're going to be staying with my sister Jan. Thanks so much, Jan. Um, she's going to take care of our fur babies for us for a few weeks um, until we can come pick them up. Yeah, and Jan's also in Austin, so she's really uh, just a short drive. Her and the cats are just a short drive from where we're currently staying. So we'll get to say goodbye to them again before we uh, head to Costa Rica. But. Even with that being said, we'll be back for them within a few weeks. Yep. So last month we mentioned that I'd be selling my truck, and it finally happened. 
Uh, I listed it on Facebook Marketplace, had it up there for a couple weeks. Had a lot of interest in it. Um, a number of people uh, came to test drive it, um, but wasn't really getting the offers I was hoping for until a good friend of ours asked me if the truck was still available. And I'm like, yeah. So uh, made a deal with him and um, you know, it worked out for both of us. Something else that we did this past month was had our final health checkups. So we mentioned that uh, residency can take a couple of months for us and um, when we do sign up for residency, we'll also be able to pay into the CAHA, which is the universal health care in Costa Rica as well as the social security. Um, since we won't have that, I want to make sure that we were getting our checkups here um, in the States since it may be a few months before uh, we have the ability to do that. Um, so yeah, I know I got my eyes checked, got my physical, and um, also went to the dentist. So just good to knock those things out so it's something we don't have to worry about. Yeah, have a clean bill of health when we're uh, starting this new adventure. Absolutely. Yep. And then within a couple months, you know, like Jazz said, once we become official residents, we will have that universal health care with Costa Rica. And in the meantime, if something comes up, there are plenty of available private health care facilities, top notch, um, scattered all over the country. Right. And they're still pretty affordable too, even without the health insurance. Compared to the United States, they're very affordable. Yeah, definitely. So we had the opportunity, we had a few opportunities actually, to say goodbye to our friends and family. We've just been so busy lately and we've been trying to squeeze in uh, time for this and my sister actually helped us out big time. We celebrated the 4th of July with her. She invited some of our close friends and some of our family members to come over for a little get together in the backyard of her place in, in San Antonio. And we had a great time. Yeah, just being able to say goodbye. It was really nice to see them. And then we also did some one-on-one -on -one time with some of our other friends. Um, they scheduled a, a pick, introduced us to pickleball. Yeah. We went out to dinner, so that was really good to say bye to them. And uh, what else? Who else did we? Oh, we had dinner with some of your family that got came to visit. So that was actually, we, we that was actually yesterday, wasn't it? Um, two days ago. Okay, so we... <laughs> They, we, we had some, or I had some of my family members come into San Antonio and uh, they just so happened to be there the last day that we would be in San Antonio. So it was great we got to hang out with them um, and uh, have dinner, drinks with them and in, in San Antonio. It kind of, it also gave us an opportunity to say goodbye to downtown. Oh yeah. So that, that was nice. That was really nice. It was it was a great goodbye. <laughs> yeah, and great seeing them. Yeah. Oh, and then after that, we said, we said goodbye to some of our other good friends immediately after that. So uh, we met up with them at their house and... and Watched the Olympics, Olympics a little bit. Yeah, and stayed up late and, and yeah. woke up early the next day to... Start packing. Start packing. <laughs> It was a memorable last night in San Antonio. <laughs> yeah, sure was. We also got an opportunity to get all of our business paperwork together for our uh, blog, Blogging Money Life. Mm -hmm. I know we've been talking about this for a little bit, but we are this close to getting it launched. And that means that we had to make sure that we had um, our EIN number, our LLC established, as well as making sure we had a business bank account. So we were lucky we were able to get those things taken care of before we made our move to Austin and definitely before we made our move to Costa Rica. Yeah, and on, on the same sub subject as getting Blogging Money Life set up, uh, I had some more time this month for Jazz to kind of walk me through the steps of uh, being a blogger. So she introduced <laughs> me to a, a few things and um, you know I've been on the back end of Blogging Money Life setting up uh, articles to be publish, scheduling, social media, and you know, it feels nice to, um, uh, you know, be behind a computer working as opposed <laughs> to driving in hours in my truck and, you know, on job sites, and um, which was fine too, but this is a nice and welcome change. For those of you who this is your first time watching, Chris used to be a custom home builder before we made our decision to move to Costa Rica and prepare for that. 
So I know for that, you did a lot of driving, like I said, visiting different um, homes and um, working on making sure that they're built and they're beautiful. Yeah. Something that I was tasked with this month was to set up the structure for our finances for once we moved to Costa Rica. Now we both have international um, credit cards and an international checking account, but to make large withdrawals could be a, a bit tricky um, as there is a limit with how much cash you can pull out from an ATM. So I'm thinking of trying to think about like, what do we do when we want to buy a vehicle? Um, so in order to do that, we decided to fund our Scotia Bank account, which is our bank we have in Costa Rica, with uh, a larger amount of money. But that was a little more complicated than uh, I initially thought it was going to be. For international wire transfers, the bank is requiring six months worth of bank statements from the account you're transferring the money from, and they want those uh, bank statements to be officially apostled. Mm -hmm. um, in order to get that apostle, I needed to visit our bank, request the statements, they notarized the statements, and I had to drive up to uh, the capital, um, Austin, Texas, and meet with the office of the Secretary of State so they could review the document and give us an apostle on it. Well, I've submitted that to Scotia Bank, and they're in the process of reviewing it. Hopefully they um, approve it so we can fund that account before we go. It's nice to have access to cash in case there is an emergency or to buy a vehicle when we get there. Mm -hmm. And it's good to do that now because once we're in Costa Rica, getting an apostle in Austin, Texas, can be a little bit more tricky, especially when we're trying to mail paperwork in. And doing a, a wire transfer. I talked to the bank and we should be able to do wire transfer online. Mm -hmm. um, there are quite a few security steps you gotta go through, but you know, as of now, it's a heck of a lot easier just to go into the bank and, and do that transfer. All right. So, fingers crossed, we got a couple weeks left, we can knock that out. Yep, yep. The last thing on our list for July, but certainly not the least, mm -hmm. is we moved out of our house. So, uh, we had our house in San Antonio. Uh, this was our last one to sell. Yeah, and been there seven years. Yeah, we've been there for a while. And um, we had to spend this last month packing up the things that we had left over, which we talked about, and moving them to our family's house here in Austin. Chris actually did a great job. He shuttled all of our things in three different trips because he mentioned he sold his truck. And all we have left is my small Toyota Yaris. So to get all the things that we're taking with us uh, to Austin, it took three, three whole trips. Which I was able to incorporate, like dropping the cats off at, uh, at Jazz's sister's house, as well as doing the whole apostle deal. Right. So. You know, a little bit of multi-trip tasking going on. <laughs> Definitely. Um, while we moved out of our house, we also had to work on selling the remaining furniture. And I yeah. know Chris says you, you really did a good job as far as like owning that as well. Do you want to talk more about sure. what that process was like? So we kept a few comfort pieces of furniture for a while, like our couch, kitchen table, and our master bedroom stuff. Um, so as we're getting closer, we're, we're slowly shedding those items. And man, over the past over the past six months, I've sold well over ten thousand dollars worth of stuff on Facebook Marketplace, and I kind of honed in how to like make that listing. So the very last thing we sold was our bed, and we wanted to hang on to that as long as we could, so we didn't end up sleeping on the floor. Um, but we worked it out with the, the buyer so that he knew our last day our last day in San Antonio was Saturday. So he agreed to come Saturday morning and I had him pay us up front. That way I knew he wasn't gonna ditch me Saturday morning. And um, yeah, worked out good. We had that was our last piece of furniture and you know we were glad to have it that final night in uh, in San Antonio. So this wraps up our moving to Costa Rica update for the month of July. Make sure to tune in next month for our um, series finale. We'll be coming at you from our new place in Costa Rica, and we'll also be introducing our new series. Make sure, make sure you tune in so you can uh, find out what we're calling it. 
Yeah. Your support means so much to us and has definitely kept us encouraged on this journey. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every Wednesday. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.